This is tournament lock and programming on a GTEC without an OLED. So first thing we're going to do is check to see whether the tournament lock is on or off. It ships with it unlocked, uh, but we just need to make sure that it's unlocked before we try to go into programming mode. So first thing we need to do is we need to switch on marker. So we see you've got it flashing here, shows an empty breach, yellow. Place in there, see so it goes to teal, shows something in the breach. That's working correctly. I'm going to remove the two grip screws. Open up the grips. On the circuit board here, you have a very small push button. If we press the push button once, see it flash green. Press it again, flashes red. Again, flashes green. We need it on red to be able to access programming mode. Red is for danger, as in it's unlocked. Be careful. Press it, get a red flash there. We're now unlocked. We'll close up the grips. In order to enter programming mode, we need to first turn off the marker. Marker's power down. Now, in order to enter programming mode, we need to pull and hold the trigger and turn the marker on. And then we get rapid white flashes, and that shows rim programming mode. Release the trigger. And the first color we have is red. First parameter is red. Inside the grips, we have a list here of all of the different colors, what they represent, and the ranges for each of those. So red is the firing mode. Pull the trigger once. Cycle to green, which is maximum rate of fire with the eyes on. Then blue, uh, blue which is rate of fire, eyes off, purple which is dwell, and a tealy colour which is a debounce. So I'm quickly going to show you how to adjust um, a couple of the parameters, show you the process for doing that. So we'll cycle back through to red again by pulling the trigger which is the firing mode. We press briefly the push button and that will tell us by the number of flashes what mode we're in. We have one flash there on red, which is semi-auto uncapped. Uh, I'm going to put it into mode three for you, which should be uh, NXL slash uh, Millennium. So what we'll do there is we now press and hold briefly until the LED goes off. Once it's gone off, then we pull the trigger one, two, three times. If the value has been accepted, we get green flashes afterwards. We can check we've inputted that correctly by Tapping the button again, one, two, three, so we're in mode three. Now, say we want to uh, enter a rate of fire, so we're in millennium mode at the moment, and we want to enter a, a rate of fire cap that's, just for uh, argument's sake, 12.5. So we'll cycle through to the next parameter, which is eyes on rate of fire cap. Press the button here, one, two, three. So that was 10.2. What we're going to do now is we're going to adjust that to 12.5. So we'll press and hold till it goes off. And then we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll press again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've entered 12.5 and press again. That value has been accepted. We can check it. So we had 12 slow flashes and five fast flashes. And that's what we're now entered into. And say we'll do one more parameter adjustment and we'll go to debounce and reduce that to debounce three. So we'll cycle through till we get to teal. We'll check what it's on now. On five, we're going to press and hold. One, two, three. Accept we've got green flashes, but that's been accepted. We can check it. Okay. And then we now want to back out of this, so we press and hold, and that'll take us back into firing mode. 
We're back in firing mode now. I'm pressing hold again to turn the gun off. Can grip screws back in. Finish programming. That's tournament lock and programming parameters on a GTEC.